नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर सेवन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस लेसन ओके व्हाट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय बायोडाइवर्सिटी see all the living organisms see all the living organisms of an ecosystem ecosystem means the system the interaction between the biotic and abiotic components so interaction of biotic and abiotic components that we are saying the ecosystem the here the definition will be there of okay, an ecosystem are together referred to as bio diversity okay now the next definition is desertification desertification is the process desertification is the process by which fertile land fertile land means what capable of producing foods okay grains so it is fertile land loses or loses fertility fertility is losing and gets converted into desert as a result of deforestation as a result of the deforestation which cutting off trees lands so that we are calling is termed as a desertification okay so what you learned biodiversity and uh, this one is desertification so next one is uh, ecosystem what do you mean by ecosystem means what ecosystem is the interactive system interaction between one to one interaction system in which all the biotic and abiotic components in which all the biotic living living things and abiotic and non living things living plants animals or microorganisms and abiotic means non living air light temperature water Okay, this interact with each other, depend on each other, as well as with the environment is called as ecosystem. So next one is what do you mean by species? S P E C I E species. So a group of population, a group of the population capable of interbreeding, capable of interbreeding. interbreeding means what reproduce in a particular community a group of a population capable of interbreeding or reproduce okay he is called as species s p e c i e s so this is called as a species so there should be some of the other important definitions are in this lesson is uh, what do you mean by endangered species okay what do you mean by endangered species means what the species in the the species in the danger of extinction extinction means going to extinct or no longer due to the rapid decline decline means fall due to the rapid decline in their number and change in their habitat and the loss of their habitat means oh so this is called as a endangered species so endangered species okay the species in the danger of extinction due to the rapid decline in their numbers and change their habitat is called as endangered species so next one is endemic species what do you mean by endemic species means what the species unique to a particular habitat the species is unique to the particular habitat are called as a endemic species particular habitat particular home the species unique to a particular habitat are called as a endemic species okay now next one is what do you mean by 
extinct species. E X T I N C. Extinct species means what? A species is called an extinct species when the last existing number, when the last, the last one, the existing member of the species dies. The last member of that dies. So that you are calling extinct species. Now, what about the flora and fauna? Flora, F L O R A, flora. Flora means all the plant species. Flow, flower. I told that's why you are confused and it will be there. Many of the students will get the confusion in between the flora and the fauna. So I just to avoid the confusion. I told you now, flora, flower, fauna. Then the then the next one is animal. Okay, like this. So you remember flora, then the remaining one is fauna. The flora means all the plant species found in the particular habitat. All the plant species found in the particular habitat. So that is called referred to as a flora. And what about the fauna now? Now the fauna is all the animals species found in the particular habitat are referred to as a fauna. Now next one is migration. What is migration? Migration means what? Movement. Migrate is the regular movement or systematic movement of a group of an organism in search of food or in search of shelter is called as migration. So this is called as a migration. So these are all important terms and definitions in this lesson. Okay. Now you see the differences between the flora and what is the difference? So you know that flora means all the plant species, all the plant species found in the particular habitat are referred to as flora. Okay, and here we will write all the animal species found in the particular habitat are referred to as fauna. Only the real term, you have to change only this one. Which one? Plant and animal. And remaining sentences are as it is. Okay, next one is endangered species and extinct species. What will be right? The species in danger of extinction due to the rapid decline, due to the rapid fall, decline is what? Reducing, decline, fall in their number and change their habitat are called as endangered, are species in the endangered species. So, next one, extinct species means what? When the last existing member of the species Dies, that is an extinct species. Now, the one or two, the remaining one, wildlife century and biosphere reserve. So, this is one. What is the difference between the bio, wildlife century and biosphere reserve? Say, wildlife century is an area. Say, wildlife century is an area where only animals are protected. And they are capturing, capturing means what? Seizing and killing is strictly prohibited. Okay, in the wildlife century, animals are protected and they are capturing and seizing. Capturing means what? Seizing and killing is strictly prohibited here and there. And biosphere reserve means what? Biosphere reserve is a large protected area. Biosphere reserve is an very large protected area for the conservation of the wildlife, plant and animal resources. For the conservation of the wildlife, plant and animal resources. Okay, got the idea students? Now we will see the one more differences between the zoo and wildlife century. So what is zoo and wildlife century? Okay, these are differences. See, zoo means zoological park we are saying, or you can say that zoo also. Sometimes we are referring to as zoological park or a zoo. It's a place where animals are protected. Zoo is the place where the animals are protected by keeping them by keeping them in the special enclosures. Enclosure means uh, what? Closing. 
enclose all the four sides, enclosing and cages, cages, C A G S cages, for public exhibition. So the public, the people can go and see them. See us, zoo. For example, Junagadh. So that is the zoo. And now, what about the wildlife sanctuary now? Wildlife sanctuary is an area where only the animals are protected. So who are protected there? Where only the animals are protected. And their capturing and killing is strictly prohibited. Okay, and here they are capturing. See, wildlife sanctuary is an area where only the animals and are protected, and their capturing and killing is strictly prohibited. So these are the. This is the difference between the zoo and wildlife sanctuary. Okay, students. And uh, so you know that some important national parks in the India, some of the important national parks. Sometimes I am asking the question, right? The some important national parks in the India. So you know that Kanna National Park, okay, Kanna National Park in Madhya Pradesh, and next one is Betla National Park in Jharkhand. And next one is Tadoba National Park in Maharashtra, and next one is Simpli Park National Park in Orissa. So these are the some important national parks in India. So what I told Kanna National Park in Madhya Pradesh, Betla National Park in Jharkhand, and Tadoba National Park in Maharashtra, and Simply for National Park in Orissa. So these are all the some important national parks in India. See, dear students, now what is the full form? What is the full form of IUCN? I capital I U C N. See, so write the full form of IUCN. I U C N. What is the full form of the I U C N? So I U C N means International Union. See the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. See I means International. U means Union. International Union. For conservation of nature and natural resources. For conservation, see means here. For conservation, see means conservation. For conservation of nature and natural resources. So, dear students, one more important point here to remember: the Forest Conservation Act in nineteen twenty-seven. The Forest Conservation Act. In 1927 and Wildlife Protection Act in 1972. So again, I will repeat this: the Forest Conservation Act in 1927 and and Wildlife Protection Act in 1972 deal with the conservation of forests and wildlife animals respectively. The main aim of this act is the main aim, the main purpose of this act is to preserve and conserve our biodiversity. So these are all some of the important things found in these lessons. Okay, students. So this all the important whatever I told you, just you have to go through it. You have to read it and write it. Okay, students, and we'll meet and see. This lesson is over, and every important aspect I told you, and all the particular heading video also, I sent you. So this lesson we have completed, and uh, next lesson is microorganisms. So what will be the next lesson? The lesson number eight is, I think, lesson number eight. That is a 
cell and structure of functions so what is the next cell structure and functions okay till that bye bye thank you for joining us